The smear campaign will destroy the narcissist and their fly monkeys. This is a topic that up until this point, no one else has touched on. But I'm hoping that this video will inspire other creators to talk about this. Because we already know the effects that a smear campaign will have on the victim or target. But what hasn't been talked about is the effect that it has on the narcissist and their fly monkeys. Narcissists start smear campaigns for a number of reasons, such as to justify their actions, to silence their target, to control the narrative, to influence other people to take their side, to build relations, to isolate the target, to play the victim, for sadistic enjoyment, to sabotage their competitor, to punish you, to take revenge so that they don't feel bad about what they did to their target, to minimize what they've done, or it could be in response to their jealousy or resentment, or to small slights, or to feel powerful and look superior because they don't want to feel less than anyone else. So they have to work hard to make sure you're less than them. Or it may just be to shift the blame because you know things that they don't want people to know. So they want to show everyone that you're bad and that they're good because they can't deal with the guilt and shame. So there's 15 reasons why narcissists start smear campaigns. Eckhart Tolle is a spiritual teacher and self-help author. And he has said, for what you do to others, you do to yourself. Which is very true, and it's an excellent summary for this video. The narcissist and their flying monkeys are keeping you in captivity. Where you are imprisoned and confined. You're held hostage. Because you're involuntarily controlled by an outside influence. But so are they because they're connected to a system, a network. So they're in a virtual reality because the true reality does not function in that way. Reality is the true situation and the problems that actually exist in life. In contrast to how you would like life to be. So they're just tuning in, tuning in to what other people want them to see. They're not seeing the whole picture. They're watching you like a reality show because they understand that you are in the true reality, but they're treating it as a game. They're judging you. They're pushing your buttons in an attempt to harm you because they're sadistic. They enjoy hurting you. They have nothing else to do with their lives. They have no purpose. Their only pleasure is your pain. Because they all have personality disorders or mental illnesses. Otherwise they would not engage in abusive behavior. Because they would understand that it is unwanted. It hurts, harms and distresses you. They intimidate and humiliate you because they're looking to gain a feeling of power, purpose and control over you, which they will usually do by focusing on something that is unique about you, by preying on existing insecurities or creating new insecurities because they're trying to hurt you. And they're hoping that you will internalize it and blame yourself when it actually has nothing to do with you at all. They are bullies. They're people who habitually seek to harm and intimidate those who they perceive as vulnerable. And studies have shown that those who bully are far more likely than average to have experienced a stressful or traumatic situation in the past five years. So their bullying is a post-traumatic stress response. It's a response to their trauma. 
because they don't know how to positively respond to stress. So they bully you as a coping mechanism to manage their painful and difficult emotions because they have low self-esteem and they're too weak to deal with it. So they mask how they feel about themselves by focusing their attention on you and they try to avoid any negative attention directed at them by deflecting because they don't want to look at themselves. They hate themselves and they hate their lives. Research shows that those who have been victims of bullying are twice as likely to bully other people. The narcissist and their fly monkeys were victims in the past and they may be victims of something now. But they bully you as a defense mechanism and because they believe that it will make them immune to being a target themselves. When in fact it just creates an endless cycle of negative behaviors. Studies show that one in three people who bully felt like their parents don't have enough time to spend with them. So the narcissist and their flying monkeys are likely dealing with feelings of rejection. And they are also much more likely to come from households with arguments and violence. They may also be uneducated people. Maybe their parents couldn't afford for them the proper education. So hatred and hostility is normal to them. And studies have also shown that bullies are more likely to feel like their friendships and family relationships are not secure. So in an effort to keep their friendships, they feel pressured to behave in a certain way, even if they don't feel comfortable doing it. When their behaviours are actually counterintuitive, they have the opposite effect to what they're intending. Because these behaviours will affect their future development and it will increase their risk for many negative outcomes. It will also impact their children, as children are always watching and listening to their parents, and they mirror their parents' behavior. So if they're taught that this type of behavior is okay, they're likely to end up repeating it in school. And bullies are more likely to drop out of school than their peers. That are at an increased risk of experiencing depression, anxiety, personality disorders and psychological distress. They're more likely to abuse tobacco, alcohol and street drugs. And they're also more likely to engage in early sexual activity. Being a bully as a child or teenager increases the odds of them breaking laws they tend to have four times the rate of criminal behavior than those who don't bully. They're also more likely to carry weapons and they may develop sociopathy or psychopathy. The smear campaign will destroy the narcissist and their fly monkeys. Research shows that it affects a person's home life. Narcissists and fly monkeys have problems with long-term relationships and they may be abusive towards their spouses and children. They also have a harder time securing and maintaining employment and they're more likely to have children who become bullies, which just begins the cycle all over again. As it produces generational trauma, so it carries down their family line as well. A significant number of fly monkeys are also victims of other people. In a study, it was found that by the age of 30, one out of four people who bullied had a criminal record. The males had greater tendencies to be abusive in their adult intimate relationships. 
and the females were more abusive to their children. The research discovered a correlation between bullying and a range of social problems, which includes employment difficulties, alcohol and drug dependency and divorce. They're also more liable to suffer from depression and more likely to self-harm or seriously contemplate, attempt or commit suicide. The smear campaign does not only affect the narcissist and their flying monkeys, it also affects innocent bystanders. They don't step in because they either fear the power of the narcissist or their flying monkeys or because they want to avoid being exposed as someone who reported other people's wrongdoings or revealed their secrets. Which is understandable, although it is also what perpetuates the situation. But they believe that nothing effective would be done even if they did report it. Which is why they're so reluctant to intervene. Studies have shown that bystanders also suffer negative outcomes as a result of witnessing bullying. They often react to the emotional experience, but they may then align with the flying monkeys and learn to blame the target. Or they may accept their own indirect failure by failing to intervene, which carries a lot of guilt and shame. And it leads them to believe that those with power are allowed to initiate a conflict, attack and behave aggressively. While also achieving an upgraded social position as a result of their behavior. To where they may even adopt the same antisocial behavior to take advantage of opportunities. They may have increased use of tobacco alcohol and other drugs, as well as increased mental health problems, including depression and anxiety. The smear campaign creates feelings of sadness and anxiety in children who witness it. It creates a sense that the world is not a safe place and it can greatly affect their capacity to concentrate and to learn. It has a devastating impact on all members of the school community. It causes them to learn attitudes and behaviours which undermine their ability to cooperate, to coordinate themselves with their peer group and to respect other people's differences and rights. The reality is that the smear campaign puts everyone involved at the risk of numerous psychiatric, psychiatric issues including depression, anxiety, panic disorders, suicidal thinking or behavior, and agoraphobia, where people may develop a fear of open spaces, crowds or situations that may be hard to escape from. These problems persist even when the target is no longer present in the environment. In reference to research published in JAMA Psychiatry, bullies have additional and different risks to their own targets. And they are even more likely than their target to develop a psychological problem with a four to five times risk for developing antisocial personality disorder, which may include sociopathy or psychopathy described as a lack of empathy, lying, and criminal behavior. They're five times more likely to experience depression, and they're 10 to 25 times more likely to develop vari various panic disorders. They engage in bullying because they have emotional problems, which includes low self-esteem, feelings of worthlessness or inadequacy, loneliness, anxiety, stress or conflict in the home, and a history of trauma or abuse. And it makes them highly identifiable. 
because as a result of their emotional problems, they will show an over-concern with popularity or being in charge of other people. But ironically, they're likely to have feelings of social isolation and difficulty connecting with people socially. They may also be aggressive and reactive because they're easily frustrated. They may have difficulty handling conflict as a result of their negative view of people. And also because they have a positive view of violence and aggression. And they may have friends who are bullying other people. The smear campaign has a lasting damaging effect on the narcissist and their flying monkeys. But I have no sympathy for them as they chose to side with the narcissist without hearing the full story. They chose to believe a lie without giving you the opportunity to state your case. And regardless of that, there is no justification for what they do. They chose to become your enemy. But as Eckhart Tolle said, for what you do to others, you do to yourself. And this is evident in the studies and research that I have referenced in this video. The smear campaign will destroy the narcissist and their fly monkeys. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.